Well, what's going on in Chrono Nation? Man, horrible game today. On the 4th of July, as we get blown out in this one, 15 to 2. That's right, 15 to 2. As for the second time in less than a week, we allow 14 runs. And this time, we allowed 15. And both of them were starts by Adam Wainwright. Wainwright, who went just three and a third innings in this game. And, yeah, he just does not look great. I mean, he's 40 years old, but just uh, quite uh, surprising, really, to see him struggle this bad. And, yeah, so just, uh, yeah, this is just not good. So Miami would go up. Three to nothing with one swing, three run home run by Jesus Sanchez. Uh, that was his eighth home run of the year, so just like that, three to nothing, Miami. They would then go up four to nothing at the bottom of the third solo home run by Garrett Cooper, his eleventh. And uh then they would then go up five to nothing. Uh, on a ground out on what was a uh, runner scoring a fielding error by the pitcher, the reliever, Jojo Romero. Uh, so that would make a 5 nothing Miami lead, and then Cooper would make it 7 to nothing. Uh, so Wainwright would allow seven runs, four of them earned, struck out three, uh, and you had in a previous start against Houston, he didn't even get through two innings. And now he doesn't even get through four innings in this one. So, uh, but JoJo Romero, a uh, one, two, three, fifth inning. And then Yancis Cabrera uh, with a scoreless sixth inning. Marlins would actually strand the bases loaded. So, but we were still down by seven, but we're just hoping that we could maybe get a run on the board. Uh, but the bottom of the seventh, still down seven zip. James Nail on, and Miami would then go up eight to nothing. RBI single by uh, Myers, uh, center fielder. Dane Myers, uh, looks like he was making his major league debut in this game, and yeah, I never heard of that guy, uh, so that would make it a, uh, 8 nothing lead, and then Jorge Soler, RBI double, two more runs, and they would then go up 15 nothing, four runs in the 7th and 8 innings, for Miami, uh, so James Nail in relief would allow eight runs in relief. So that's not good. And then for the second time in less than a week, Alec Burleson would take the mound. Uh, he would start out the game as well. Actually, he wasn't even in the lineup. He would was pinch hitting for Paul Goldschmidt, take over at first base, and then on the mound and would not allow a run so that was I guess kind of good but you know it was a blowout game obviously and then in the top of the ninth uh, we would finally get on the board uh, as we would have f four straight hits uh, Lars Newbar would drive in the run to put make it 15-1 and then Tommy Edmond with a sack fly to make it 15-2, but then Burleson will ground out. So, you know, just nice that we got runs on the board compared to that previous game against the Astros where we didn't get anything, and it was looking like that was going to happen again. And by the way, those two runs were off of Marlins catcher Jacob Stallings. 
as the Marlins up by 15 used a, a position player. Teams are, I believe, are allowed to bring a position player if they're up by, I think, at least eight or like eight or nine runs. So, but yeah, so this is uh, just not good. Um, feel pretty bad for Wainwright. Uh, so, I just really hope we can bounce back Wednesday night and at least, you know, avoid getting swept. Well, actually, it's four games, but still would like to at least uh, split the series. So, yeah, Wainwright is. Yeah, the Cardinals have been outscored 29 to 2 in Wainwright's past two starts. That's just uh, not good. So, uh, and Andrew Kisner was hit on a foul ball and was uh, then uh, removed and was replaced by Contreras. Contreras was the DH, and so then he had to come in and catch, so we got. Uh, lost the DH spot. So, uh, we have not announced the starter for tomorrow's game. Marlon's going with right-hander Brian Hoeing. 1-2, 3.72 ERA. So, for that, options could be Steven Matz. Uh, also could call up Dakota Hudson to make the start. So, but it's just Hope it's a close game. So, uh, the Cubs currently are winning 4 1 at Milwaukee. The Reds won at the Nationals. So, till Wednesday, comics were saying go cards.